The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Some Sadducees, those who deny that there is a resurrection, came forward and put this question to Jesus. Teacher, Moses wrote for us, if someone's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now, there were seven brothers. The first married a woman but died childless. Then the second and third married her. And likewise, all the seven died childless. Finally, the woman also died. Now, at the resurrection, whose wife will that woman be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said, the children of this age marry and remarry. But those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. They can no longer die, for they are like angels, and they are the children of God, because they are the ones who will rise. that the dead will rise. Even Moses made known in the passage about the bush when he called out, Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, and he is not God of the dead, but of the living. For to him all are alive. The Gospel of the Lord. Deacon Bob Atkins was the deacon at St. Augustine Church, that wonderful African-American community from which I just came before coming here to you. The deacon and I did all we could to minister to the pastoral needs of the community there. And while doing so, also became very, very good friends. Deacon Bob used to say to me, particularly when I would get myself in a jam, as pastors frequently do, don't worry about it, I've got your back. The deacon used to say to me frequently, you know, I'm black by birth and Catholic by choice. And he was deeply loved in the parish. He had been born and raised there and now was their deacon. And of a night, he died. I was devastated. So was the whole community because of this unique love they had for this ancestor, this patriarch in their midst. So how were we able to celebrate, to sing, and to dance at his funeral. 
which, by the way, went on for three hours. How were we able to rejoice when everything inside us was screaming out, something's wrong here? We were able to rejoice. We were able to proclaim the goodness of God in the midst of our sorrow because all of us believed within our hearts that Bob had gone on to glory. He was in the resurrection. And after all, isn't that what we all are born for? We are born to live in order that we might die and go on to the resurrection. And that basically is what our readings are telling us today. We are born in order to go on to glory. Amen? Amen. And if we can go on to glory, if we can proclaim the resurrection of Christ in our lives, then we have achieved that for which we came. And that's why we could sing and dance at Bob's funeral. That's why we could proclaim, Alleluia and Amen. He was with the Lord. And our readings today tell us about the resurrection. The first reading is taken from the book of Maccabees. We don't often read from Maccabees. But we all seem to know the story of the seven young men who were truly tortured by their king because their king wanted them to eat pork. And that was against the law of God, and they would not do it. And so the first young man said to the king, what do you expect to achieve by questioning us? We are ready to die rather than transgress the laws of our ancestors. 